How you guys doing? Thanks for watching. This is George over at Wicked Warnings here in the new facility with a brand new Tremor. Now, at the time of filming, these Tremors were getting pretty hard to find. A lot of people have been waiting on these. For instance, this customer, I believe he ordered this in March of 2021. We're now almost into August and we're just finishing up our part of it and it still has a lot left to go. This particular Tremor is going to go home to Wyoming. It's going to live on a great big ranch farm type property. It's going to have a great life out in the wild there. And uh, it's here in Illinois. It was bought from a local dealer here. It was sent up to us, got a whole bunch of goodies put on it. And then from here, it's going to go out to, I believe, Oregon for a highway products flatbed. And after highway products is done with it in Oregon, it's going to finally make it home to Wyoming where it's going to get put to work for hopefully a good long time. Now, this was a complete build with the customer. Everything we did was specced out by the customer and uh, designed with the customer. So what you're looking at right now is a great big off-road bumper on the front there and illuminating the normal fog area. We have Baja Designs Squadron Pro. Now there's a set in amber and a set in white and the customer is going to put an amber lens on the white ones to make it all amber. Those are Squadron Pros by Baja Designs. Now the off-road bumpers come in many different flavors. You can get all kinds of different designs if you're looking for a big off-road bumper like this. Um, I believe this one is Fab Four. I'll double check that, leave it in the notes in the video. Above that we have our Onyx 6, also by Baja Designs. That's a 30 inch curved Onyx 6 bar. As you can see, those are both tied into a single switch. That's a combo lens on that bar, and it's double stacked. So that's about 60 inches of Onyx 6 Baja Designs bar. I don't think you're going to need any more light than that on the front of this truck, but I don't live where this truck goes, so I might be wrong. Alrighty, so with the big lights off, we can focus on our flashing lights and what our primary focus is here at Wicked Warnings. When working with the customer, we talked about the different lighting options and what the customer liked was to have a very aggressive white pattern on one switch and a very relaxed amber pattern on another switch and then more of a medium pattern with both colors when you apply both switches. So we were able to, to give him that result and you can see here we have our Thin X LED, that's the Lin Series 2 in amber white mounted in the grill. We have our auto flasher module running the DRLs as well as the white mirror mod, the auto flasher white mirror lights on the, on the forward facing white mirrors. Now on the headlight, we have a couple of different versions of that auto flasher. We have a wire cut version, the most inexpensive, easiest one to install. We also have a no cut pin swap version where you slide the pin out of the factory headlight connector. And we also have the total plug and play if you really don't want to do anything but unplug and plug. And there'll be a detail at the end of this video about how we did these headlights because as you can see the grill bar and all that stuff on the front was already installed. So we actually accessed those DRLs from the fender well, which was not too bad. Uh, worked out quite well going in through the fenders. We didn't have to take the grill or the headlights out of the truck at all. Um, just left everything in place. So as you can see, that's what you're going to get with the white switch. Now you can't see at the moment, but in the badges, they're also thin X on the same pattern as the grill. And the back half of this truck, once Highway Products installs the flatbed, we're sending a nice care package with a bunch more thin X that are going to get mounted on the Highway Products flatbed at their facility and uh, tied into the system here. We've already pre-wired it, so Highway Products can just set their bed down, attach the lights, and connect up, and they'll be good to go. Alrighty, so now with the white switch off and the amber switch on, as I said, we have a more relaxed split pattern. This is a double flash split pattern where the light head actually goes back and forth. The side badges are set up to match, so they're running the same pattern in amber and white. And as you can see, we've turned off the DRL and the white mirror lights. With amber only, you're only going to get the amber as shown. And as you can see, when you flick on the amber and the white switch, you're going to get an amber white display out of the Thin-X. That's a triple flash alternation there, and they are synchronized, so both do amber and white 
together in the color, give you a little bit bolder pop on the grill. But you can see you go to both colors and you also incorporate the white of the DRL and the white of the mirrors. Alrighty, so as you can see here in the badge, we have our amber white alternation. Now that's our thin X mounted right in the badge. We even have a nice DIY video that explains exactly how to mount that light in the badge. Fairly easy process. Now the white mirror lights that you saw flashing, that's a forward facing white mirror spotlight. You do need to have that factory function to flash that white light. So some of the XL trucks are out of luck. This particular Lariat had the spotlights. You'll know you have the spotlights based on the switch that's above your headlight switch. There's a couple of square paddle switches that you need. Those switches I just showed, those are the switches that run the spotlights. If you have them, you're good to go. If you don't have them, then you won't be able to flash those white spotlights. Regarding that as well, we have the same three versions. Uh, if you want two versions actually on that one, there's a wire cut or there's a plug and play. So we have a couple of different versions for those white mirrors and you don't necessarily need to do the white mirrors with the DRL. They are separate. So if you just want the headlights, no problem. If you just want the mirrors, no problem. We've isolated and separated all of our stuff so you can pick and choose exactly what you want. Let me show you the white pattern and the amber pattern in that badge. There you go. There's that white pattern I showed you earlier in the badge matching up with the front. And there you have the more relaxed double flash construction amber package, the amber flashing that we had. Also, same as the front pattern and should be the same once highway is done on the back. Not sure if you happen to notice or not, but this truck, it's got a little bit of height to it. It's got a little bit of lift underneath there. It's got some goodies by Carly. It's got some other goodies by King Shock. It's also got a pretty nice airbag setup on the back. It's got an onboard compressor. It's also got a fuel hose. I don't know if you can see it. It's peeking just underneath there. Got a pump and an onboard fuel hose. It's going to be for a fuel tank. It's going to be mounted in the flatbed. This truck's got all kinds of stuff. It's got a real nice set of running boards. So if you have a truck like uh, this, you have a Tremor, you have a regular Super Duty, you have any kind of truck whatsoever you want to get lit up and taken care of, you give us a holler at Wicked Warnings. I'm going to go ahead and link all of the lighting that we have in stock, ready to go. I'll throw links in for the Baja designs, which are special order. We don't stock the Baja designs uh, in, in, at this time, but we can order them. We'll put links in for all of that stuff as well. And uh, the big stuff like the 37 inch tires and the lift kit and all that, that's a local thing um, you're gonna have to be here in Chicago I'm not trying to ship a lift kit uh, so that kind of stuff we just do in-house here um, and uh, other than that thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoy this video I'm gonna close out showing you the brand new labels for our switches well before I show you those switches I'll show you the gauge and the switch for the airbags in the back there that's your air pressure right there and that's your switch that runs all that Alrighty, and here's the switches like we were talking. We got a white flash, an amber flash. We got the grill bars. We have rear low, which is going to be some Baja goodness on the highway products bed in the back. We're going to do some flush mount squadron pros. We've got some rear high, which is probably going to be an LP4 or an LP6 by Baja Designs, also on that highway products rack. And we've got our fuel pump. This is all spec per customer request, set up exactly how he wants it. And I do like those black labels with the white print. Uh, we have both. If you like these labels and you want me to make some for you, just drop an email in to info, I-N-F-O at Wicked Warnings and mention the Super Duty Switch labels. Let us know what you want to see. We could print these up and send them out to you for a small fee. If you don't happen to have the Dymo labeler that makes that, we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, trucks, buses, SUVs, bicycles, tricycles, and everything in between. I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, make sure if you're in the area, you stop by and check out our new facility over here on Deal Road. Much bigger, much nicer, and uh, we've got some goodies for anybody that does stop in the facility. Make sure you come in and get yourself some swag. We'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you then.